Okay, here's the deal. We're going to have open phones throughout the third hour today, uh, jam-packed with a lot of factoids and news pieces I haven't gotten to yet. Uh, but up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, Soros Mouthpiece calls on Google to police conspiracy theorist. And it's uh, not just Cass Sunstein, but Stanford Scholar wants search engines to flag global warming vaccine skepticism as thought crime. Now, you heard me play an AP video at the start of the hour where they actually say the latest pre-crime system, and, and, and you're not watching Minority Report. They're actually saying it's pre-crime and saying how great it is. And then it reads through here, and they're writing articles for Slate. There's White House announcements, Cass Sunstein. They're openly talking about shutting down websites and then arresting people. I mean, these are authoritarians. I mean, th th there's there's no ifs, ands, or buts. And then you got Limbaugh saying, well, Ron Paul deserves to be stopped by TSA. He's a Muslim terrorist. I mean, what? And it's not funny. I'm not going to put up with you globalist traitors claiming we're the traitors. I'm sick of it. Now, speaking, this is weird. I've seen this five, six, seven years ago, about six months ago. I just typed into YouTube. George Soros, 60 Minutes interview. And you would get, I'm not joking, dozens and dozens, page after page of him on 60 Minutes. Uh, I think it was about 1999 or 2000. Actually, I have the date here. 1998 interview with, with, with the Steve Croft, where he talked about how great it was working for the Nazis and he doesn't feel bad about it. He must have had all of that expunged off of the web when Glenn Beck talked about it earlier in the year, copying our show, talking about it, which is fine. I'm glad. It's like an auxiliary of my broadcast. I'm very proud of it, actually. Uh, I, I am. If we come up with a new special on the website, he copies it exactly. Uh, the truth lives there. I always said the truth lived here. You know, give the gift of truth at Christmas. He gives the gift of truth. I love it. I mean, I've, it's like a clone, but like a little twisted clone. But he's getting closer to me, so that's good. It's good to see my son coming along. Uh, but... Uh, Here's from the Zionist Organization of America. It's troubling to see the Jewish leaders defend Israel. U.S. basher. Again, it's troubling to see Jewish leaders defend Israel. U.S. basher, George Soros, against Glenn Beck's criticism. And then they actually have the transcript here uh, of uh, George Soros uh, talking about uh, working for the Nazis. And I'm going to go over this transcript and everything tonight, but here's the deal. We're getting hundreds of emails. Nobody else can find it now. It's been removed from the bit torrents. It's been removed from YouTube, Google Video. It's been removed everywhere. If you find it, you need to save it. Uh, and it's from 1998. I played clips of this years ago. 1998 uh, interview. That's the weird thing about Glenn Beck. I December 20th, 1998, Steve Croft. The funny thing is, used to, I'd, I'd like play a uh, clip of a eugenicist, you know, calling for world population reduction, and then a month later, hear it on Becky Poo. But, I mean, I'm glad of that. Uh, but uh, I guess when Beck covered it, his, his show was so big then that uh, they, uh, they just had it removed. So Because, I mean, that was like coffin nails to George Soros. Absolute coffin nails. And, of course, George Soros' Media Matters is routinely demonizing us and attacking us on pretty much a daily basis. Uh, by the way, Warren Buffett, the rich guy that openly wants to raise taxes on the middle class to pay it to himself and make her bailouts, uh, Bloomberg is reporting that Warren Buffett's Burlington Northern, among winners from Keystone denial, when they shut down that pipeline, it'll now be taken by train to the U.S., but also to the west coast of Canada to be put on tankers to China. And Bloomberg reports. So, <laughs> see, the big guys make their money off government shutting down their competition. That's why John D. Rockefeller I said, competition is a sin. But the neocon talk show host will never tell you that dirty secret. Well, we are the cure to the reality television watching fluoride Prozac head zombie population under the control of the Cess stream, sewer stream, dinosaur globalist, treacherous traitor, sellout, knuckle dragger, teleprompter reader, prostitute, New World Order servant, Benedict Arnold, media.
And I want to give in the first 30 minutes of this hour, first time callers a chance to call in. Here's the toll free number to join us. I want to hear from first time callers. And then after I take a few rounds of first time callers, we'll go on to others. 800 259 9231. 1 800 259 9231. And we'll get you up and on the air a little bit later in the transmission. A little bit later as in the next segment. Uh, some of the other crazy news I've got I haven't gotten to yet. Uh, Mitt Romney's released Warren's financials. He basically doesn't pay taxes. It's all in offshore banks. But if you making two hundred thousand dollars a year, try to save a hundred thousand of that and put it in offshore accounts, even after tax, they're going to take it. They made it almost impossible to get it out. They'll have the IRS rule it's fraud outside of law and take whatever you got. Only if you're a big globalist and are in the special club. Are you allowed to do this? See, because we live in a two-tiered system now. Where the globalists can commit any crime they want, any time they want. They have globalist immunity. They basically have new world order immunity from laws. And it's the same thing in the European Union. They get away with whatever they want, whenever they want. And they're getting closer and closer to that, uh, that system that Nick Rockefeller talked about, where the elite basically has a microchip in the body, uh, inside their body, where no one can challenge them, no one can ask them questions, the police cannot touch them, they are immune. And they can just commit any crime they want and get away with anything they want. And if you dare try to protest against them, the police will come and split your head open. And the police will have their future destroyed, their children's future destroyed, and the global eugenicist control freaks will continue to do whatever they want to the environment, put sodium fluoride in the water, vaccines will be poisoned, and they'll write white papers on how they're doing it to us, but because the general public is only talking about the NFL playoffs. I was listening to the radio yesterday, and you could hear the talking point of, you know, talking about uh, the Giants, I guess, are going to the playoffs, Super Bowl, something. I don't know. I don't even know where the playoffs are, what's going on with it. I'm too concerned with the Strait of Hormuz. The Iranians say they're getting ready to shut it. The U.S. says they're going to attack them. Oil prices go up, economy sputters even more. We go into deeper depression, larger war could begin. But again, I'm the bad person. Because I hear these men on the radio and they're just like, oh, it's so great, the Giants. Oh, man, they're my team. Oh, yeah, you know, my wife didn't used to like football, but she came out of the room and she said, you know, I really like it now. And, you know, I like to watch football by myself and, pace up and down and yell at the TV and my kids just come in quietly and look at me in awe. The other host is like, yeah, I know what you mean. It's so manly. Meanwhile, I'm pacing up and down trying to figure out how to wake people up. I'm pacing up and down not believing how hardcore the tyranny is. I'm pacing up and down confirming that in the H1N1 shot they added another virus that's a carrier and appears to be some type of binary weapon. And it's just killing people and, and maiming people. And the numbers are coming in and the cancer is exploding and the death. But I hear these men who are like in this mesmerized cult, brainwashed haze, you know, trying to impress each other with how much they love the football. And, oh, it's just like this form of camaraderie and manhood, not to their tribe, their religion, their people, their art, their culture, but this fake plastic garbage and the women, totally vapid, taught how to be tarts in all their shows, demonizing the men. And in every television show, the men are idiots and the women are the bosses and the children rule over them. Just cultural death, force-fed down our throats by the globalists to make us weak. You don't need me to tell you that humanity is in a deep crisis. Everyone can feel it. We know a tectonic struggle is now taking place between the forces of freedom and those who love darkness, bondage, and enslavement. Yes, my friends, evil is rising. But take heart, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Recently, New World Order operative Hillary Clinton admitted they're losing the info war. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. The globalists are scared. They've overreached. The future of the info war is in your hands. 
Join PrisonPlanet.tv. Download the thousands of special video reports, ebooks, and more, and get them out to everyone you know. Continue to spread the word about the broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and every other globalist propaganda platform. We are going to use their system against them. The Info War now goes into high gear.